All right. The inner sanctum. It's just an office. This is where the magic happens. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's just make this quick. Sure, just give me a sec to get this going. And engage. Podcasts. Yeah. All right. Uh, what's it called, the one that you're listening to right now? Uh, bizarre yet bona fide. So, like, ghosts and stuff? It's like, um, yeah, like the the weird and the wonderful, digging up weird mysteries and discussing if they're, well, bona fide. Boner, fide. Get it? Boner. <laughs> Your wit knows no bounds. So, should we check out what Mr. H keeps in his private den of sin? Uh, I don't know, man. I feel a little weird going through his stuff. Okay, well, I don't. I mean, come on, what kind of dirty secrets is the owner of a summer camp full of impressionable young children gonna have anyway? <laughs> Not Mr. H, I know, he's cool. It's always been cool to me. Can't you, like, speed it up at all? I can try to encourage them. Go for it! You guys can do it! It's not working. We're really gonna have to wait. Hey, what's the gun for? Uh, Chris... Mr. H told me it was for, um, bears. Bears here? Yeah, yeah. He said they don't really come around because he's got the gun to. Yeah. <laughs> Just leave it alone. Just leave it alone. Dude, we're gonna be out partying in the woods tonight, all right? What if the bears try to crash? Okay, it's it's like my mom always said, if you want to party, you got to bring protection. <laughs> well, I think that she was talking about condoms. I'm not going to fuck a bear. It, the most dangerous thing I've seen in these woods is a pissed off squirrel. That sounds pretty scary. Okay, fine. Well, we know where the gun is if we need it. <sighs> Your call, man. Hello, what is this? You hear that? Is that a trap door? <laughs> I knew that there was a secret sex dungeon around here somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet you Mr. H is into some real kinky shit. Uh, I doubt it. Weren't there a couple of counselors who never showed up? Uh huh. Why? Secret sex dungeon. Yeah, it's not funny. It probably just goes to the basement <laughs> or something. Open it up. All right, well, it looks like a pit of eternal darkness, so. You're being dramatic. Climb down, take a look. Look, you can squeeze through there. You opened it, you climb down. Eh, on second thought, I'd rather not know what Mr. H is into. More mysterious that way. Sure. Ooh, that's a nice chair. I could get used to this. You better hope Mr. H doesn't catch you taking his baby out for a joyride. <laughs> Hmm. 
Ringy dingy ding. Oh, sorry, bud. Gotta take this one second. Hello, Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. What can I do for you on this darn tootin' doozy of a day? Is that your impression of Mr. H? Uh, yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, I, you're absolutely right. He does need to be nicer to Dylan. And, uh, what's that? You want him to give Dylan his phone number? That's a little forward, but I can see what I can do. Smooth. <laughs> Oh, Laura Kearney and Max Brindley. Oh yeah, those are the ones that never showed up. Yeah, it's because of these goobers that we had to work extra shifts this summer. Kaylee and Caleb Hackett. Weird kids, huh? I like them. Yeah, me, I, me too. Um, they are pretty reclusive, you have to admit. Whoa, look at this old thing. Hey, give me your number. I want to try it out. Why? Uh, so that I can ask you out on a date, uh... Mmm, smooth. I think if I tried a cell phone number on this thing, it would just explode, though. Hello? What? What? Who is it? Uh, hello? It's weird, I thought I heard someone. Huh. Maybe you should have asked them out on a date. Damn it, I missed my shot. <laughs> Yo, my guy, toss me the keys. Uh, so you can poke around in Chris's private area? I I'm sorry, is that something that only you're allowed to do? Hardy har har. Come on, what's the harm in looking? It's, you're not a little bit curious. I'm not gonna touch anything. Fine, don't let me regret it. Can't promise that, but. Nothing but net. <laughs> you're using that wrong. Oh. Huh. Whoa, there's some pretty heavy-duty stuff in here. Yeah, maybe let's not touch that. Yeah, there's nothing fun.
fashion icon. Mr. H knows what he likes. Sure he does. Wow, there's... Yo. Hey, hey, maybe we shouldn't... Uh, Brian? Whoa, what the fuck? These monitors, this is the camp. Huh. Is Mr. H spying on us? No, no. I mean, no, no, he can't be. These are just, they're all different trails in the woods around camp. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Most of the cameras are pointed away from camp, so it's not like he's spying on the kids, unless they wandered out into the woods. You know, these are just, probably just trail cameras. What are trail cameras? People set them up to catch weird, random shit. Okay, yeah, like what? Like... Bigfoot sightings, you know, that kind of thing. I didn't know that Mr. H was into that kind of stuff. Shit, maybe he likes that podcast that you listen to. Secret hobby, I guess. Expensive hobby. Yeah, well, I mean, what else are you going to do out here? Yeah, I guess camp probably does get pretty lonely when there's no one else around. Yeah. Okay, but why go through all the trouble of hiding this room through a secret door in the closet? Uh, I mean, it's not exactly secret, right? Like, it's just hidden by stuff. Yeah, that's what a secret is, Ryan. It, it's weird. It's majorly yeah, weird. I don't disagree with you, but... It, it's It's got to be something juicy in here. Dylan, okay. it's, it's none of our business. And if you really want to know, you can ask him tomorrow. I'm sure, that won't be an awkward conversation, like, at all. Okay, yeah, maybe I will. All right. I, I'm leaving this secret layer. Have fun. Hey, you just admitted that it's a secret layer. So, got anything going on when you get back home? School, or? Uh, jury's out. Understood. Girlfriend? Uh, not exactly. Boyfriend? Free agent. Cool, yeah. Me too. Are the, uh, phones? Oh, uh, yeah, probably. You want to check? Oh, let's just give him another minute or two, just to be sure. Nice. Full up. Hey, Dunzo. All right, cool. Let's go.
Thank you. It'd be a lot easier with Mr. H's chainsaw. It's really very pretty out here when there's no kids around. Yeah, they can get kind of obnoxious, huh? Yeah. They always seem to listen to you during painting class. You've seen my class? Just walking by. <laughs> the art cabin's all the way out of the way. Yeah, well, there's this shortcut that I take that goes by. Which way should we go? Why don't you choose? Good choice. Better sticks this way. Better sticks? Yeah. You like burning or whatever. <laughs> Think we've got enough? Uh, not yet. This place was an actual quarry? Uh, yeah. Apparently some of the caves run pretty deep. It's like a honeycomb under there. Cool. Are you sure this is safe? What, are you scared? No. Are you? No. So, you ever think about what's next? Like, after we die? It's heavy, man. No, I mean like, the future. Yeah, sometimes. All the time. It's so overwhelming. I know what you mean. Sometimes I just try to like, let it happen, you know? What? Like, whatever happens is what was meant to happen. Like it's all predetermined. Fate. I wouldn't call it that exactly. A predetermined future. Maybe the direction stays the same, but the details change. Like, it changes as you go. You're still in control of your own... Fate? Yeah. I don't know. Seems a little defeatist. No, see, this way I can do whatever I want and not feel bad about it. Within reason. Guess that is a little freeing. 
in a sociopathic kind of way. <laughs> Know where we are? Yeah. Up here. Here, hold these. Sure. This view is just wow. Damn, Abby, you're really good. No, no, this is nothing. <laughs> no, really, I'm not just saying that. This is rough, but if I can get a little bit of it down, then I'll remember it better later. It's really cool you know that about yourself. Um, yeah, I guess so. I mean, not everyone knows what they're capable of, you know? I'm sure you're capable of a lot, Nick. I mean, of course, I just don't know what. Figure it out. Did you hear that? Hmm? It's probably nothing. No, listen, there's something there. Almost just mow me to death. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, little piggy hog. <laughs> At least we gave her a good story to tell her pig husband. How do you know it was the mommy pig? Mm, I got a pretty good look. Ew. I think she was coming on to me. <laughs> Got yourself a little girlfriend. She wasn't that little. <laughs>
Guess we should head back. 